Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about a simple method in how to store your plywood. One of the things that I was struggling with with all my different sizes of plywood is how you store them. How do you keep them flat? Those kind of things. Well, I came up with this simple little system just to primarily be able to store them vertically and also be able to keep them flat. Um, so what I've done is I've taken some 3 8 inch Baltic birch cut it into two inch wide strips, 18 inches long, <clears throat> went and bought some six inch long by quarter inch round uh, hex bolts, some washers and some wing nuts, and before you know it, I've got a nice little storage system. What I like about this is it keeps everything flat. These are 15 by 24 inch uh, uh, pieces of plywood, but it would certainly work on 12 inch by 20 inch. Um, they're portable, meaning I can pick this up and take this over to my laser. If I need some different sheets out of this, I just loosen these wing nuts up, slide it out. When I'm done, tighten it back up. It's sturdy. It's not going to tip over at all. You could store it vertically or horizontally, whatever fits better in your space. This is a perfect project for a beginner. So let's go to the uh, computer. And I'll, sh I'll lay this out real quick. We'll do some simple note editing. Um, great project for a beginner. Let's go check it out. Okay, so let's go over the uh, project materials that you're gonna need to make this project. Um, need one sheet of 14 inch by 20 inch, uh, either 3 8 or half inch plywood. Six six inch by quarter inch round hex bolts with quarter by 20 thread pattern. 12 large washers with quarter inch hole and six wing nuts, 14 by 20 thread pattern. Okay, I've drawn a simple rectangle that's 20 inches wide by 14 inches high. If you only have uh, 12 by 20 uh, stock, you'll probably have to uh, use two different sheets instead. Um, Anyway, this is just going to represent the uh, piece of plywood that we're going to cut these slats out of. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create the basic uh, outline of the slat. So I'm going to go ahead in here and come into a rectangle and I'm going to go ahead and draw it and I'm going to resize it and I'm going to go, uh, it needs to be 18 inches by 2 inches, and that will give us our basic rectangle. I'm also going to go ahead and change the layer to red, because that's going to be my cut layer. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the, the, the kind of the helpers that I need to go ahead and lay this out. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw another uh, box, and this is going to be one inch wide by one inch tall, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that and right arrow over, because I'm gonna need one of these. This is just a, a kind of a ruler for me. Since Lightburn doesn't have guides, um, this is a way I, I uh, evenly space things out. So I've got a one inch um, wide, Square here, a one inch wide square here. The next thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need a hole. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw a, a circle. I'm going to come up here and our bolt is a quarter inch bolt. So I'm going to make this 0.26 by 0.26. And that'll give me just a little bit of room to go ahead and uh, pass that bolt through. Okay. I'm going to select that and duplicate it. I'm going to move it over. And the last thing I'm going to need to do is I want to be able to, to uh, align this in the middle of that slat. So I'm going to just draw a line. Okay, I'm just going to draw a line. And if you hold down the shift key, it'll keep it uh, flat. So just hold down your, if you don't hold down your shift key, you can get it uh, off of horizontal. If you hold your shift key down, it snaps to uh, either vertical or horizontal. I'm going to do that. All right, now I've got all my building blocks. 
Now that I've got all the things that I need to lay this slat out, I'm going to go ahead and put it together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this small square and I'm going to move it and I'm going to just snap it to the edge of the uh, slat. Okay, then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing over here. Oops. And it just snaps to the edge. Okay, I hit escape to deselect it. The next thing I'm going to do is take my line and I'm going to go ahead and grab this line and snap it to the center of that box. If you've got your snaps on, um, this should work out real easy for you. If you you can put uh, your snapping on right here and here. You definitely want snapping to objects on. That's a very handy thing. I use it all the time. And that's located in the settings. Okay. I'm going to now take my hole that I want to drill and I'm going to snap that right to this intersection. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is come over here, do the same over here. What that does is that provides the hole that I'm going to drill in or laser in this slat. It's going to be one inch off the bottom and the other one is going to be one inch off the top. So now that I've got my holes laid out, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these guides. I select it and hit delete. I select it and hit delete. Hit delete. And now we've got our basic slat designed. So we've got two different uh, slat designs, kind of a back slat and a front slat where the uh, wing nuts go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this setup and just arrow it down. And I'm pretty much done with that back slat. The only other thing I'm going to do is go ahead and round these corners. But I'll do that when I get this one completed. So now I've zoomed into the top right hand flat and now we're going to be uh, uh, building in a slot so that bolt can actually just swing in here and you don't actually have to take the bolt all the way uh, out and back it out. It makes uh, life a lot easier. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the line tool and if you have your snaps on you're going to notice that it will give you this center uh, indicator and so I'm going to click that and it's going to start that line right at the very edge of that circle and then I'm going to hold down my shift key and it will keep this line vertical and I'm going to come up here and attach it to this line here okay then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side click it here hold down my shift key come up here attach it to that line now, this is where, if you know a little bit about node editing, it can be really handy. Because what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to cut out this part of the circle and this part of the edge of the slat to make this a slot for that bolt to kind of slide in here. So this is how we're going to do that. Now we're going to go ahead and do a little node editing. Um, if you learn how to node edit in Lightburn, it's, it will really make your life a lot easier because you can make a lot of cool things with really very little effort. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in up to this slat here. And the goal here is what I want to be able to do is delete this part of the circle and this part of the slat. And that's basically going to give me an open spot so I can go ahead and slide this bolt in sideways and I don't have to... Uh, stick it in from the end. So it makes life a little easier on the design. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, select that. I'm going to hold down the shift key to add to selection. I'm going to uh, select that. I'm going to come up to edit and convert to path. Once I've converted those things to path, I'm going to come over here to ed uh, uh, edit nodes. And now you notice that we've got some different things here. So because I'm in node edit mode, I have the ability, when I hover over something, it's going to tell me what I have the ability to do. 
If it's a circle, I believe you hit the D key for delete. And then come up here. I want to get rid of this line in between these two nodes. I'm going to come up here to trim or T for trim. So now what I've done is I've just created this slot. So I uh, hovered over the line section here and hit D for delete. Hovered over the uh, line selection here and hit T for trim. And now we've got a, a, a nice little open spot, slot for that bolt to go through. Go ahead and hit, hit escape to deselect everything. Now the only other thing we've got to do is go ahead and round these corners. Okay, so in order to go ahead and uh, radius these corners, um, I'm going to go ahead and check to make sure that they're all uh, joined. So if I select this line, you can see that this line and this line are not joined together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select everything on this top slat and go ahead and go to Edit, Auto Join Selected Shapes. And now if I click it anywhere, the whole thing is selected. We're good there. Make sure this one's all one rectangle, which it is. Now at this point, I can go ahead and come down here to my radius tool, select that, put in 0.25 for a quarter inch radius, and I should be able to come up here and click those. Give this a little radius just to, so there are no sharp corners. All I'm doing is hovering over that node and double clicking. Okay, we're good there. There. Now, the only thing we've got left to do, we're going to go ahead and uh, deselect that. I'm going to come up here. To group that, make sure those holes in the rectangle don't move. I'm going to arrow up to move them a little closer together. I'm going to go ahead and group this flat. Great. Now we need uh, three of each of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate and arrow down. Arrow down. And now I've got the components that I need for my little uh, plywood storage system. So the, the slats that have the, uh, the edge cut out on them, those are going to be the front. That's where your wing nuts are going to go. And then these back pieces are just where the, uh, the bolt heads and the washers are going to be. And there you have it. You can cut this out and away you go. Hope this was helpful. Learning node editing and some simple drafting techniques can really go a long way when you're using Lightburn. As you can see, with a few basic skills in Lightburn, it won't take you any time at all to go ahead and generate a pretty nice little storage system for your plywood. I hope this information was helpful. As always, if you'd please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day.